Hi, I'm Jennifer with English Outside the Box, and welcome to week two, activity three of our August learning plan. This video is a supplement to the pronunciation post. You can see the link right here in this video. It's a supplement visual to the explanations in the post because the position of your teeth, lips, mouth are very important for these pronunciation exercises. So this video will guide you along the way if you don't fully understand the written text. This video is going to get up close and personal and review everything you need to know to eliminate common mistakes of minimal pairs. So let's go. You can follow this information on Common Pronunciation Issues Eliminated, a post that will give you access to other videos, minimal pairs practice, common reductions and modifications, and even more videos. You can also have access to my course on Udemy for only $5 via the link on the blog. Make sure you visit the link if you want your coupon code. This is for Portuguese speakers from Brazil and Portugal who are interested in improving their language. The first sound we are going to review is the V, V, and the W. W. The V sound is made by placing your top teeth on the back of your bottom lip mm -hmm. and making a vocalized sound, meaning your vocal cords should vibrate by blowing air through your mouth. Mm -hmm. The W, even though is confused, is different. The W sound is made by bringing your lips tightly forward like a kiss w -w -w, and vocalizing the sounds again with your vocal cords. The back of your tongue should be pressing up towards the roof of your mouth. Looking at minimal pairs, we're going to go over vest, west, very, wary, vine, wine, Groove, grew, verse, worse. The next sound is the P, P, and B, B sound. Both of these have the same exact position of the mouth. P, P, and B, B, by bringing your lips together. P, B, and blowing the air out of your opening or parting lips. The difference in these sounds is that the P is unvoiced, meaning only air is passing through, we're not vocalizing with our vocal cords, and the B, B, is voiced. Looking at some minimal pairs, P, pair, B, bear, pat, bat, nap, Nab, park, bark, pig, big. The L and the R are often confused even though the position of the mouth and the sounds themselves are incredibly different in American English. To make the L, L sound, we need to have our tongue up towards the roof of our mouth, pressing back behind our teeth. L, L, L. Or you can bring them forward. L, L. Our lips are slightly open with uh, relaxed lips and teeth. L, L. Which is different than the R. You can see when we make the R, R sound, our lips are coming forward tightly rounded and making a er, er sound. The mid part of your tongue is up pressing towards the roof of your mouth. Er. Minimal pairs. L light. R right. Load. Road. Lake. Rake. Goal. Gore. Coal, core, leak, reek. The next sounds that are confused are the B, B, and the V, V sound. We've already reviewed the positions of 
these sounds, b, b, and v, v. Remember, our b is made by putting our lips together, b, and blowing air when our mouth parts, b. And the v is made by putting our top teeth on the back part of our bottom lip, v. However, to go over the difference in the minimal pairs, we are going to look at the following words. Best, vest, berry, very, boat, vote, curb, curve, bow, vow. We've already gone over the position of the R sound. The H sound is made by blowing air through the mouth like a whisper. Hat, for example. Mouth is open and we're blowing air out like a whisper to make that H sound. Er, R, H. Let's look at some minimal pairs. Rate, hate. Ride, hide. Roll, hole. Rabbit, habit. Red, head. Rock, hawk. Some languages don't quite pronounce the ending L in words like people, Brazil, or able. We've gone over the position the L needs to be when we make the sound. Remember, our tongue is pressing back and up behind our top front teeth or slightly coming forward between our teeth. L. -l. This sound is important to enunciate at the end of a word and not have it sound like a W or O sound. Let's look at some of these minimal pair words and review how our lips should be at the end of these words. People, people, not people, people. Our tongue is forward or behind our top front teeth. Going forward with the rest of the words, Brazil, goal, able, mole, not Brazil, Brazil, uh, Brazil. Comparing the difference between goal, go, able, able, mole, Mo. So you can notice that the ending L needs to have the tongue either forward between the teeth, Brazil, or pushing back behind the front teeth. The final sound we're going to review in this video is the ending ED sound, which has three different endings. And the sound is going to depend on the ending sound of the root verb. Remember, we are going to say these ending ED sounds when we say past tense verbs, past participles, or adjectives that end in ed. So they are quite common in English. The sounds we're going to review is the ending id, t, and d sound. Although most people want to pronounce the ending ed, id, this sound only occurs with verbs that end in t, like want, or d, like need. Let's look at these examples with their ending id sounds. Wanted, needed. Want, wanted, need, needed. The d sound happens when the ending sound of the root verb is voiced. Remember, a voice sound is when our vocal cords vibrate. These include most consonants and vowel sounds. So let's look at the words love, with an ending v sound, and free, with that ending vowel sound. We do not want to add an extra i before the d and make it sound like an id. It is just a d sound. So love, loved, free, freed. Note the difference between loved and loved. Do you notice lovid, id, has the ending id sound, which is incorrect for this word love. You just need to add the ending d, loved, freed. 
The final sound we're going to review is the ending t sound. This t ending ed sound happens when the root verb ends in a voiceless or an unvoiced sound. This means the vocal cords are not vibrating. The examples we're going to look at are ask with k, k being an ending unvoiced sound and pass s, also being unvoiced. The verb ask should be asked in the past tense and pass past. Not ask it, not passed. The ending t should just have a t sound with no extra syllables before. Again, asked, passed. Good luck!